Thanks yep. a lot. So this is Nikos. Cheers. Hello guys. Uh, my name is Nikos. Welcome to the VPP training. Hope you guys learn a few things uh, the couple next days. And uh, please, uh, if, when you feel ready, contribute. Uh, it can be a bug, it can be code, it can be a question, a new idea. Whatever you guys think that will make uh, VPP better. Uh, so in this uh, session, we will go through uh, two basic examples. So the first one is going to uh, actually connect the VMPCI network interfaces to VPP. So if you guys have uh, your uh, environment ready, we can actually start uh, and uh, have some hands-on experience. Uh, let's go to the terminal. So first thing, uh, go ahead and edit the Vagrant file. Find the comment where it says define some physical ports for your VMs to be used with DBDK. And then add as many as you want. I, in this example, I have two network interfaces. And then do a vagrant reload. It's a private, uh, it's better to use private networks with. <coughs> yes, but for this environment, let's use a uh, private because public will uh, get IP addresses from the Cisco network. Okay, then we do a Vagrant SSH. Login inside the VM. And then we list the hardware. And get the pass information for the PCIs. So do not touch Ethernet 1, because then we might lose connectivity uh, with a Vagrant VM. <laughs> We don't want that, so let's uh, use the ad addresses uh, for the Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. And uh, we're going to add that to the startup configuration of VPP. So let's add it. Yes? Yeah, sure. Is that better? Uh, before actually we do that, uh, check the IP addresses because uh, we might, we will need those I addresses to actually uh, assign them inside VBP and then test from outside the VM. So I'll keep, let's say, this one and then let's edit the startup configuration. Grab this part of the PCI address after the add sign. Go to the DBDK section and then add device. And then same thing for the second PCI. Save the changes and then start VPP. So now, if we do a VPP control, show interfaces, we can see that we have uh, configured VPP to use uh, PCI from the VM. Uh, with DBDK. Now let's uh, bring them in uh, an upstate. And 
and then configure the IP address. Same thing for the first interface. So we see that they are in an up state now. And uh, we have assigned the IP addresses. So what I will do next is uh, add a trace. Trace, trace add. So this will trace uh, the packets that uh, flow inside the DBDK node, uh, the DBDK input node. Uh, we can have uh, different uh, nodes here. So it can be an Ethernet input or an ARP input or whatever we define here. So let's monitor 10 packets and then go outside on the host and then try and pig inside the VM. And then go inside again. And with this command, we're going to show the trace. And you can actually see here the 10 packets and the processing that happens. So it goes in the DBDK input node. Uh, then it goes to the Ethernet input node, then to a IP4 local node, IP4 ICMP echo request. So you actually see the flow of the packets inside the VPP node. And then with VPP, uh, clear trace, you clear everything. Uh, so that's how we actually attach uh, network interfaces uh, to VPP from the VM to use with DBDK and then connect them to VPP. Now the second example that I will show you is uh, a Docker uh, demo. So we're going to use Docker containers. Uh, we're going to create two no Docker containers and then uh, two different uh, Linux namespaces and then attach the Docker containers to VPP. So we're going to create a, a Vespers. One, vet, uh, one uh, side of the Vesper is going to be attached to the Docker container, the other one inside VPP uh, with the AF packet interface. We can do that with two weeks, either uh, with tab connect, so we can create a tab interface inside VPP and connect it, or use the AF packet interface. IF packet is more performant, uh, so we're going to use that. And this is actually what we have. Uh, basically, I have a script ready. If you want to run it, you feel free to run it. Uh, it installs Docker, it downloads uh, an IPsec uh, Docker image, and then create the Vespers, expose the network, um, the Docker network namespace to the host, uh, then add uh, the AF packet interface inside VPP, uh, add the other side of the Vespers inside the containers, then apply some configuration inside the containers, and then establish a VPN connection between the two containers. So if you guys want, you can use uh, this uh, link here, wgetminusovegancontainers.sh, and uh, this actually will look through. So yeah, uh, first it will uh, install Docker and then create uh, two VET pairs, then uh, run the Docker um, uh, 
run to Docker containers uh, with IPsec. So the IPsec container has a strong one installed. Uh, so strong strong one will be responsible to initiate and terminate the VPN connection. And then we expose um, the Docker namespace on the host here and here. And then uh, we specify the IP addresses inside the first container. We specify the IP addresses on the second container. Uh, we add some routes uh, so the two containers can be reached. And then uh, we connect uh, the second VETH uh, inside VPP using uh, the create host interface command. So this will attach an AF packet interface uh, to VPP. Uh, we specify the IP address. Uh, we, uh, put the, um, we put the interface in an app state. And then we, the next part, we add con the configurations inside the two Docker containers. So uh, we copy some uh, default configurations that they have uploaded in these uh, uh, URLs, and then apply them inside the, the uh, two Docker containers. So it's, uh, yes, yeah, sure. so the question was uh, if uh, that IPsec uh, function is uh, inside the VPP or is inside the Docker containers. So it's um, inside the Docker containers. It's not the function, a function of VPP. Uh, but I know that uh, VPP has an IPsec uh, termination function right now. It, uh, Damian, am I right? Yes. So it doesn't have the initiation of uh, IPsec. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and run it. Let me get the link as well. And then So if I do a docker ps now, I can see that I have uh, two Docker containers running. And then what I will do is create the VPN connection. So you can see that I have a, a VPN established connection and then I can actually go inside VP. So with the interfaces, so these are the uh, new interfaces that I added, the AF, AF packet interfaces. And then This is the associations between uh, the AF packet interfaces. So with this, uh, with this script, uh, it's an easy way for you if you want to test with containers uh, to expose uh, the, ne uh, the network namespaces uh, on the host and then create VET pairs. Uh, add the um, uh, interface of the VETH pair inside VPP and then uh, have a, an end-to-end -end, uh, connection between VPP and uh, Docker containers. This is the configuration that I'm using for, uh, for uh, the IPsec. But feel free to, I'm just using set keys right now, feel free to use whatever you want. And then I'll hand it over to Keith to walk you through the setup of uh, the environment for the rest of uh, the training sessions.